Yeah, so this is our uh, new Field Floater 7 2850, so 2,850 bushel grain cart. It is the largest cart that we make, and I believe it is also the largest grain cart in the market. Um, as this one sits, it's at about $180,000. It's got the upgraded Michelin 1000, 1055 Flodex bib tires. Uh, it's also got two wheel brakes on the center axle, steerable axles, uh, independent suspension, 14 inches of travel at each, um, at each tire. We got dual auger system, 20 inch belly auger, 24 inch vertical auger, all operated through a joystick you mount in the cab. Uh, unload rate, 1,090 bushel a minute. Let's see, compaction on this thing, because that's a big, big topic right now. And when you're putting that many bushels in a cart, it's going to be an issue. Um, we're at about 17 PSI in the field when it is fully loaded. So we still maintain a very good um, ground pressure. And that's all thanks to these Michelin tires that we have uh, accompanied with our suspension system. For our whole model range, we'll start with the largest, the 2850. We go down to a 2550. We have a 2200 which actually narrows up the sides. So we have some markets where you need to be narrower. So we've got a couple of those cars, 2200, 2150 is back to a little wider. Uh, then we got a 1750 and a 1550. We require 250 horsepower to run the auger, to run all of the, the components and all the functions on the cart. Um, you'll get that 1090 bushel on load rate with 250 horsepower. But with something this big, we suggest a minimum of 400 horsepower four wheel drive tractor. Um, that really comes down to controlling the unit. It carries its weight very well through the fields. It'll float, you, it pulls like something with a thousand bushel less. Um, but that being said, you get this thing full, you're going down a hill, you need something big in front of it. Um, so at that point, that's kind of what our minimum is for this. If you're in hillier terrain, we'd probably suggest a 500 horsepower or a smaller unit. Um, but it really kind of comes down to a case by case basis with the farmer. And if they're looking at this, we have those discussions. Um, but nine times out of 10, the customer's got a big one already. So the other thing that comes standard, we have scales of standard, um, flat load cell provided by Intercomp um, scale company. We use their scale head as a standard scale head. There are six load cells um, on this unit, three on each side. It actually separates the hopper from the frame. It is the only thing, point of connection between the two. Um, and designing it that way creates an extremely accurate reading. Um, and it also creates durability. You're not asking it to do too many things at once. You're not putting a, a load cell in the hitch or in a hub and spindle um, where you, you're asking it to do too many things and it can't do everything right.